Let's all start by taking a nice deep breath. Oh no, na ika hala, e kale hua, e hale le hua, oh na ika noe, el ma ine, e me ne kepek aloha, aloha, aloha. Aloha. So that Ole Aloha is an ancient Hawaiian wedding chant, and what it says in part is that this is the site for which you have longed, and now that you have come, love has come with you, and there has been a seeking of the loved one, and now a mate is found, you know, one to share the chills of winter and the warmth of summer, and love has made a plea that the two of you are to be united right here in Po'olena Lena Beach, Makena Maui, Aloha, and a Komomai. And a Komomai means welcome. And I welcome you all to this very special event in which Bruce and Paul declare before all of us here that you have chosen each other. So in Hawaii, we exchange lei as a symbol of our love for each other. And they have very specific significance at weddings because the leaves and the berries and the nuts you know, they represent the love that you bring to your marriage and the twine that holds them all together. This represents your marriage bond and in essence is symbolic of your lives together. And when you place them over each other, you'll give a hug and a kiss.
So we gather here today to dedicate the joy and the deep meaning of the union of Paul and Bruce and this very sacred commitment. Really the essence of this covenant, you know, is the acceptance of one another as lover and companion and best friend. And it's a decision not entered into lightly, but rather one that's undertaken with great consideration and also respect, you know, but, but not only for each other, but also for ourselves. And the ceremony today, it sets the tone for your entire life together because this is a visible symbol of the ongoing wedding process in which the two of you, you continue to grow in love and union. So I want you to face each other holding hands. And I ask you, Bruce, do you take Paul to be your husband? And do you promise to love him and comfort him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. And Paul, will you have Bruce to be your husband? And do you promise to love him and comfort him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. I do. May I have their rings, please? That's for Bruce, and this one's for Bob. Okay. And we're gonna have Tim sing a song for us. So your rings, by their very shape, are the emblems of eternal unity without beginning or end. And they characterize, you know, your devotion to one another. And I ask they always remind you of the very sacred commitments that you make to each other today. Is this one Paul's? So placing the ring on the edge of his finger and looking into his eyes, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to grow with you. I promise to grow with you. To build our love. To build our love. To speak openly and honestly. To speak openly and honestly. To listen to you. To listen to you. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. For all our days together. For all our days together. From this day forward. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. <laughs> you shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. My arms will be your home. With this ring. Whoa. <laughs> With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. With this ring. With this ring. I promise to grow with you. I promise to grow with you. To build our love. To build our love. To speak openly and honestly. To speak openly and honestly. To listen to you. To listen to you. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. For all our days together. For all our days together. From this day forward. From this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. My heart will be your shelter. <laughs> My heart will be your shelter. My arms will be your home. My arms will be your home. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And I'd like to end this celebration with this closing reading. And this is taken from an Apache Indian wedding benediction. And it goes like this. 
Now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be the shelter for each other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warmth for the other. And now there is no loneliness for you. Now you are two persons, but only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may those days together be good and long and happy. And now by the power vested in me by the state of Hawaii, it's my privilege and honor to pronounce you husband and husband. You may seal this with a kiss.